having this. How to start as a freelance developer? So this is a, a, like one of the most uh, common questions I see in uh, different forums and also um, many people. So because I'm leading Thinkster.com business, which is an education business for freelance developing in Python. And um, many people, of course, ask me this via email. So how to get started as a freelance developer? If you have no experience or if you have a little bit of experience and you want to get started, you are interested in freelancing, how can you actually start doing this? And so in my... So my recommendation is always the same. Um, no matter where you are currently, even if you are a complete beginner, start now with practical code projects. Because, I mean, I know it sounds, it sounds too, too good to be true. So you, you, if you if you if you don't have any coding experience, it's very hard to get started with the practical code projects because you don't know anything. You don't know, know even the language and so on. But the problem is that most people get stuck in the learning phase. So they always keep learning, they always keep improving their skills and they never feel ready finishing practical projects. They never feel valuable parts in the marketplace. And this is their biggest problem because it's a self-fulfilling prophecy. They think they are not valuable enough to get started as freelance developers, so they just keep learning. But the nature of learning is that the more you learn, the more you will know that you don't know even a fraction of what is what is there to know. So the more you learn, the more you know what is to learn and what you don't know already. So therefore, the more you learn, the less ready you feel starting as a freelance developer. And this can be a huge barrier to get started as a freelance developer because because you always think there's there's more to learn, more to more skills to acquire until you can create value for the marketplace. And let me tell you, I I I have hired hundreds of freelancers for my Thinkster education business and I have freelancers in the whole spectrum. I have freelancers that are just complete beginners in Python programming, but they still finish valuable work for Thinkster. So they like, for example, write simple blog articles or do simple tasks. And I have very, very skilled freelancers that earn $100 per hour that do some advanced back-end stuff uh, on Thinkster. So we have, I have the whole range and the only difference between a, 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 a beginner level freelancer and an expert level freelancer is the hourly rate. Okay, so the expert may charge $100 or even more per hour and the beginner may charge say $5, $10 per hour initially. It doesn't matter. So the, the, you always have some value to the marketplace. You, you always can provide some value. So it's, it's, you, you will never be worth zero dollars per hour and therefore it's the best thing to just get started on your currently uh, value so don't don't like like oversell your skills or undersell your skills just sell the skills you currently have to the marketplace be transparent about them and start earning money now so start with five dollars per hour or ten dollars per hour but then aim to improve and increase your skills, aim to increase your earning potential as a proxy for skills. So for example, develop the skills you need to earn more. And for example, you also learn about marketing and business skills because as a freelance developer, you are a business person first and foremost. So, so you, you learn like whole, this whole business thing, but you also learn coding and you learn these things as you go through the process of increasing your hourly rate and you will see the you will quickly realize what are the necessary skills to to boost you to the next level of earning potential. And therefore, you will develop this well-rounded skill set only practitioners have. And this is the best way to get started as a freelance developer. So 70% of your learning time should be invested in freelance developing. So just go on the, on the platform like Upwork or Fiverr, create some gigs and acquire clients initially you need to focus all your efforts in acquiring clients and almost none effort in developing the skills and then if you have the first client then you just develop the skills you need to finish the gig you finish the gig even if it takes a lot of time even if your hourly rate is very minimal but you still get paid for learning and you s learn only the things you need to to finish the gig more quickly next time and then you take the next gig and this will be a bit easier it will be easier to get the next client and it will be easier to finish the gig because you have already acquired some skills and then you build upon your own skill sets over time gradually improve your skills and your value to the marketplace you get paid for learning and you develop the well-rounded skill set of a practitioner and this is exactly the idea of my Thinkster freelancer resources you can check out my new book leaving the red race with python i will give a link in the description below where i show 50 
expert secrets that help you boost your hourly rate even faster, boost your uh, skill level even faster. Okay, thanks for listening to this video and see you in the next video. Bye.